Good girl, so Sasha. Sasha moved on the other leg. So I came out of the vein. And we're just continuing to draw here again. So she continues to get rewarded. I guess another thing to also be conscious of, making it easier for the pet, that's what this is all about, while still us being able to get our own job done and staying safe, is, you know, hold the legs, the leg in a position that's comfortable for the pet. I mean, I could crank Tash, Sasha's leg up where, and rotate it so I could see the vein better, but that would really hurt her shoulder, you know. And I think when we are not conscious of how we're positioning the animal's body, it can add to sometimes pain or stress in doing these exams, and the small differences make a big difference. So I've kind of learned how to tip my head down <laughs> and, uh, you know, get the job done, and my staff has as well. Uh, and Good avoid call. like rotating and cranking like that on a so on a good. arm that could put pain over the elbow or so pain good. over the shoulder. Something really also for us to be very aware of in our aging yes, pets. Yes, you did. <coughs> All right, baby. And this is gonna this is gonna tell us what's wrong with you. Yeah. So that you won't get all these little skin lesions. <laughs> 